Welcome back in a Sunday soaker just as forecast. Many of you saw torrential downpours. Hope you had some productive and enjoyable time inside downtown Toledo. Looking at that rain really coming down on the Maumee River there. Not too many people out and about today with the winds blowing. And of course, make sure those headlights and wipers are on as you're driving around, especially with all that construction. The rain showers are lightening up a little bit, but still some showers periodically continuing throughout the evening and the overnight hours. Want to get straight into that first alert forecast for the day today. Many of you still seeing raindrops out your window. York Chevy Perrysburg camera, maybe not the best day to be at Levis Commons unless you're in a nice warm restaurant there enjoying some dinner tonight. There are showers across much of Lucas County from the north side of Toledo all all the way down through Monclova and to the airport, and these are causing wet road conditions. 475 at Secor. Again, headlights turned on with the reduced visibility from the rain showers. This is actually moving in from the northeast, heading to the southwest, kind of an unusual direction. But this persistent rain band has dropped about two inches of rain from Sylvania all the way down through Perrysburg, where that rain has been going strong. The reason for that, well, there is a low pressure weather system directly overhead, and that low has sparked some heavier showers just to the southeast of the region. Crawford County seeing some heavier downpours, although most of those are clearing on out very quickly. There is the chance that Norwalk gets a brief soaker before those clear on out. The severe weather risk today was well to the east of us across central PA. No worries about severe weather for the evening here in northwest Ohio and southern Michigan. Rainfall totals pretty substantial in northern Lucas County. Sylvania picked up around 1.7, Perrysburg 1.5. Now this reading in Defiance is a little bit to the east of Defiance. The airport picked up closer to one inch there. Toledo 1.2. Again, a little more on the north side of town and then Fremont less than an inch. Rainfall totals overall have been pretty prominent in Lucas County and a little bit lighter elsewhere. Rain showers persisting through the evening. Most of those showers are going to be down to the southeast of Toledo. Even Seneca County could see a brief downpour of rain or two overnight tonight. Periodic showers could continue. Not going to rule out a brief downpour. Tomorrow is going to start off with showers and end with thunderstorms. It's going to feel very muggy and yes, rain chances continue for much of the week. There is the chance that a brief Soaking downpour continues into the afternoon tomorrow. This unsettled weather pattern continues ahead for much of the week with showers and storms prevalent on just about every day. Tomorrow is going to start off with showers. I think any thunderstorms we do see will be in the afternoon and Tuesday. I'm going to sound like a broken record. It's going to be a muggy one with thunderstorms. Wednesday promises a little bit more dry weather, maybe some sunshine, but also the chance for a pop up storm. Thursday rain is looking more likely as a cold front sweeps on through. The good news for you, though, is focusing in on next weekend. It is looking partly sunny and mild with temperatures in the mid 80s, but definitely packed an umbrella and the first alert weather app for the week ahead.